हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बोर्डिकर चेतन फ्रॉम एन बी मेहता वलवाड़ा साइंस कॉलेज बोर्डी एट एफ आई बी एस सी वी हैव टू केमिस्ट्री पेपर्स केमिस्ट्री वन एंड केमिस्ट्री टू ईच पेपर हैज थ्री यूनिट यूनिट वन यूनिट टू एंड यूनिट थ्री यूनिट वन इज बेस्ड ऑन फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री यूनिट टू इज बेस्ड ऑन इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड यूनिट थ्री इज बेस्ड ऑन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री आई शेल टीच यूनिट वन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री पेपर टू विच कंप्राइज टू चैप्टर्स केमिकल काइनेटिक्स एंड लिक्विड स्टेट नाउ लेट्स टेक अ क्विक व्यू ऑफ सिलेबस ऑफ यूनिट वन चैप्टर वन केमिकल काइनेटिक्स नाउ दिस यूनिट वन इज बेस्ड ऑन फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री सो क्वेश्चन अराइज इज वॉट इज फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री so we say that it is a branch of science which deals with application of different theories and laws of physics to chemical system and it is also concerned with interaction and transformation of material chemical kinetics now the question arises what is chemical kinetics and why we should study chemical kinetics that is what is its importance and which reactions are studied under chemical kinetics so answers to all this question will get in this lecture kinetics is a branch of science that deals with study of rate of reaction and factors affecting the rate of reaction now rate of reaction is defined as either increase in concentration of product or decrease in concentration of reactant unit for it constant is moles per dm cube per second or kilopascal per second for gases or it can be newton per meter square per second there are various factors which affect the rate of reaction they are concentration of reactant temperature of reaction and presence of catalyst kinetic study of a reaction involves three stages rate of reaction is determined accurately the dependence of rate on concentration of reactant is established data obtained from the above two step is used to establish the mechanism of reaction chemical kinetics has biological importance in our body protein molecule called enzymes which increases the rate of many biological reaction with the help of chemical kinetics we can determine the rate of such reactions also chemical kinetics has environmental importance because we can also determine the rate of formation and depletion of ozone layer some reactions are so fast for example neutralization reaction between hcl and NaOH and some reactions are so slow that it may take months to complete but between these two extremes there are some reactions which takes place at moderate and measurable rates at room temperature such reactions are studied under chemical kinetics rate law is defined as experimentally determined mathematical equation that expresses the rate of chemical reaction in the terms of molar concentration of reactants consider the reaction a plus b gives product then rate equation can be written as r equals to k into a raised to x into b raised to y where a and b are considered as concentration of starting material x and y are order of reaction k is a rate constant and r is a rate of reaction rate constant it is defined as the rate of reaction when the concentration of all the reactant are unity that is concentration of reactant a and b is equal to 1 at that time we can say that rate of reaction is equal to rate constant unit of rate constant is unit of rate of reaction upon unit of concentration of reactant 
रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन कैन बी मेजर्ड बाई टू मैथड फिजिकल मैथड एंड केमिकल मैथड इन फिजिकल मैथड फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स कंडक्टेंस कलर ऑफ रिएक्शन मिक्सचर ऑप्टिकल रोटेशन वॉल्यूम ऑफ गेशियस प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म्ड इज मेजर्ड एट रेगुलर इंटरवल फॉर एग्जाम्पल द रेट ऑफ डी कार्बोक्सिलेशन ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड कैन बी डिटरमाइंड बाई मेजरिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस इवॉल्ड एट रेगुलर इंटरवल सो वी हैव टू कीप ऑन चेकिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एट रेगुलर इंटरवल In chemical method, a definite volume of reaction mixture is pipetted out at regular time interval and titrated with a reagent solution of known concentration. For example, rate of acid catalysis hydrolysis of methyl acetate can be measured by titrating the acetic acid formed against the NaOH solution of known concentration. In this reaction methyl acetate is mixed with water in presence of hydrochloric acid and the product formed is acetic acid methanol now how much amount of acetic acid formed is calculated by pipetting a fixed volume of solution from the reaction mixture at regular time interval and then it is titrated with NaOH solution of known concentration the amount of NaOH used up will be the amount of acetic acid formed if we compare chemical method and physical method then chemical method requires continuous monitoring of progress of reaction and is slow and time consuming due to this physical methods are more preferred next topic is order of reaction it is defined as sum of all exponents to which the concentration or pressure are raised in the rate equation so in this equation order of reaction is x plus y where x and y are the exponents order of reaction has to be determined experimentally it changes with experimental conditions it can be integral or fractional it can be zero it changes with concentration and it also helps to understand the mechanism of reaction next is molecularity of reaction it is defined as the number of molecules taking part in the step leading to reaction consider the reaction a plus b gives product in this case two molecules are involved so we say that molecularity of reaction is 2 molecularity of the reaction we determined theoretically it always remains constant and is always integral it cannot be zero it does not changes with concentration and it does not gives us any idea regarding mechanism of reaction here are the few examples for order and molecularity of reaction first order reaction a reaction is said to be first order when rate of reaction is proportional to the first power of the concentration of reactant so let us derive integrated rate equation for first order reaction consider the following reaction when a gives product initially when time equals to 0 second concentration of reactant is a moles per dm cube and concentration of product will obviously be 0 moles per dm cube after time p seconds if x amount of product is formed then concentration of reactant will be a minus x moles per dm cube is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant so rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant now what is rate either increase in concentration of product or decrease in concentration of reactant so i'll write this in terms of product that is increase in concentration of product 
if i remove this proportionality sign i'll put one constant that is k we call it as rate constant and concentration of reactant after time t it is equal to a minus x now i'll try to rearrange this i'll bring this a minus x on this side so it becomes 1 upon a minus x and dx is as it is and i'll take this dt on that side so it becomes k into dt now i'll integrate this so it becomes 1 upon a minus x into dx k into dt also i'll apply limit initial concentration of product was 0 and finally it reached to x initially time was 0 and finally reached to t now integration of 1 upon a minus x it is equal to ln of a minus x and derivative for minus x is minus 1 also i'll put limit that is 0 to x and k into what is integration of dt it is only equal to t and 0 to t then i'll say upper limit minus lower limit once in place of x i'll substitute x and in second time i'll substitute 0 in place of x so it becomes minus ln of a minus x so this is upper limit minus lower limit now i'll substitute 0 in place of x minus ln of a minus 0 over here upper limit is t and lower limit is 0 t minus 0 so finally it becomes ln of a minus x minus minus plus over here 0 so no value i'll write it as ln of a is equal to k into t so i can write it as ln of a upon a minus x is equal to k into t so i'll bring this t on this side so it becomes 1 upon t 1 upon t and then finally ln of a upon a minus x equals to k then i'll convert this ln to log to the base 10 so k equals to 2.303 upon t log of a upon a minus x so this we call it as integrated rate equation for first order reaction